common revelation in government over the last decade is that we finally realized that we can't do it alone. Government doesn't stockpile household supplies, pet supplies, food, clothing, shelter issues. Government's not in, in business to do that, nor are we prepared to do it. So what we've realized over the years is that it really is a partnership between business and government and our nonprofits and our non-governmental organizations that provide that support across the board. Los Angeles, as you know, is at risk at some point in time. It's not a matter of if, but when an earthquake hits. And so we know that this market, you know, Walmart is, is relatively new to the LA area. We want to show the community that we bring value in what we can do in the area of preparedness. During Hurricane Katrina, Walmart was one of the first companies on the scene, you know, passing out food and water. You know, whether it be here in the United States or internationally, we're in 28 countries. Um, we know that we can play a role. We appreciate the support of the community. We want to support the community. So we feel like this is a great venue to talk about preparedness. I have two uh, rabbits, so I have Rocket and Nibbles, my children named them, so they're very original names. And then I have uh, two hamsters, Fuzzy and Whiskers. So, you know, we've got two kids, we love pets. I've had horses, dogs, cats, budgies, so we were a very big pet family growing up with my mom and dad and also into, you know, making sure that my kids know that the care and being responsible for a pet is an important lesson in life in addition to the companionship of having them in your family. CPR. What is CPR? Can anybody tell me what CPR stands for? C stands for cardio. P, pulmonary. R, resuscitation. I feel like I'm doing a cheer. And in the terms of preparedness, you can add water for your pet in the bag, and you can add food that comes in various different packets, and you can still have a neat and tidy little bag that you can throw over your shoulder and do a safe evacuation with your pet. We have to make sure that we have the food for our uh, beloved four-legged creatures, uh, water, medicine, all the same things you would have for your own family. Uh, some of the differences though are of course we really encourage people to have um, a crate or a carrier for their pet as well as a harness or a leash because pets get panicked a lot of times in a, in a natural disaster and so we don't want them to get away from us so we encourage people to have that as well. So there are some differences but really it's simple if you're going to have a plan for your family make sure you include your pet in that as well.